Hi everyone, Luca from lgmphotography.co.uk and in this video I'm just going to be uh, installing uh, a new uh, hard drive I received. Um, if you don't know, there are kind of different type of hard drive and the most common hard drive you can use is the normal hard drive which is going to be an external hard drive or an internal hard drive which you get normally with your computer. Uh, and the, uh, the good thing about that is they're quite cheap, uh, they pretty much come built into your computer or into your laptop and they, um, yeah, and, and they normally work as well as they can. However, you can now, I mean now, you can get uh, other type of hard drive and I've already got one installed in there which is a SSD drive which is a solid state drive. Now solid state drive doesn't work like a normal hard drive where you have a disk and is writing the disk. This, uh, I don't, I'm not really technical enough to explain how solid state drive, but it doesn't work with, with a disk, and which means that it's much safer, less chances of getting it corrupted, and the other good thing about it is extremely, extremely fast. Much, much faster than a uh, normal hard drive you get. So, and that is the reason why I've already got one insto install, which is a, a SanDisk Extreme, and this is 128 gig, uh, so it's not a big drive and they are quite expensive, but the price is dropping a lot. I paid about £70 for 128 gig and this is running all my uh, software. So <clears throat> not all the softwares, all my photography software. Um, as you know, as a photographer, you spend a lot of time behind the screen working and having a good and powerful uh, computer that provides you good performance is really important. And there are a few things you can do to improve these performances. The first thing is the RAM. You can increase the RAM and that is probably the cheapest option to do first. Uh, you can find RAM quite cheaply and some of the motherboard who, uh, who have this RAM installed in can uh, sometimes allow you to go up to 32 gig and even more. But I think when you have this kind of motherboard inside, uh, you probably have already a very high performance uh, computer. My motherboard can only accept 8 gig uh, of RAM uh, originally had four so I upgraded to eight and the other thing now that I can do to <clears throat> make the performance better is probably um, increase the uh, motherboard uh, performance which replace it uh, probably getting USB free which I don't have at the moment which is a bit of pain uh, SATA free which I don't have so I have to use the uh, SATA one uh, so there are a few things I can do uh, unfortunately, I'm quite limited with the case, which is small, so again, it's something to consider when you want to upgrade your computer. But SSD, it's the second thing I would say after the RAM, which you should consider upgrading as a photographer. Because as a photographer, you work with a lot of volumes, and having your uh, software installed on your uh, SSD drive will mean that they will boot much quicker, and they will just work quickly. Now, my issue I have at the moment is that my SSD drive, which I currently have at the moment here, is pretty much filled out. And if I come back from a wedding and I've got about 60 or 70 gig of photos, which I had last time, I could not use the catalog into, use my Lightroom catalog in that SSD drive. I have to use it on the other drive, which is an HD drive, normal drive, much slower. So Lightroom had to use this drive to work with the pictures, which means that my loading time when working on a picture was longer. It was just a bit frustrating, um, especially since I got the D800 where files are quite large and um, <clears throat> you need something that's going to push. And this is a really good way and cheap way to, to do it. So let me open the, the case and then uh, I'll show you what I've got so far and uh, we'll install this. It's very simple, so it should be no problem. Right, okay, so uh, you won't actually need too much for this. Uh, what you will need is a screwdriver to remove the, the case, uh, a Nisata cable. Okay, that I would recommend that uh, you get it uh, when you purchase your hard drive uh, because some hard drive don't come with it. So for example, the SanDisk Ultra Plus app didn't come with it and the Extreme which I have already inside didn't come with it. Uh, and I just got ripped off uh, paying five pounds for that cable, which is actually a used one, uh, when you can get probably two for a pound fifty on eBay. So yeah, remember to buy it uh, when you buy it. So 
this is the way it is pretty much set up. So on the left hand side here you have your, I mean, on that setup, I've got my motherboard which is at the back. That fan here is here to um, cool down the uh, i7 chip I use. I've got my uh, right here on HD6850 uh, graphic card at the bottom, which is an excellent graphic card if you're looking for one. And normally on the left, on the right hand side, or on the side of the computer, you've got your drive. So I've got my uh, HD drive, which is situated here, and I've put my Extreme one uh, right over there here. And this is kind of uh, nicely uh, secured. So what you want to do is, first you need to do is uh, find a power connection because you're going to need two connections. One which is the SATA, which is connected to your motherboard, so which will uh, read uh, and write uh, from the, the new drive. <clears throat> but what you will also need is um, a power. So you need to actually power uh, the drive. It is not just a plug, so it's two plugs. So if you look here, if you see here, there is the power over here, which is the long one, and the smaller one, which is the uh, data reading right from the motherboard. So you should normally have hanging out somewhere a power cable, which is normally, you normally have a few extra. The, the computer normally comes with a few, and they're normally hanging somewhere, so it's quite easy to find. So here is one here. So which is the one I'm gonna use. Now, <clears throat> most computer will not have extra trays for your drives. So I would recommend that you also buy a tray. Uh, my again didn't come with a tray. So, okay. So the first thing you wanna do is plug the SATA cable to the motherboard. So you've got the connection ready. So I'm just gonna put this on the side for now. Okay, I'm just gonna have to drop this down because I just can access it easily here. Uh, it can be a bit tricky because my, for example, is right behind my uh, graphic card and my hands are not small enough to get behind. So, quite a few cable in a way. <clears throat> okay, w one uh, of the recommendations that people will give you as well is to use an anti-static, okay. an anti-static, uh, an anti-static bracelet, uh, so it avoid to uh, kind of project any electricity to uh, your devices. I've not used it. Um, maybe I should have. I think I'm in. No. So as you can see, it can be a bit tricky to get it done. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> right, okay, so let's say I've got a cable in now, so I've got the uh, motherboard connection is there and the power connection is there. So now what I need to do is find a bay for the drive. Uh, so the drive did come with, one second, <clears throat> the drive came with this uh, thing here, which I believe is just um, some kind of protection you will have here, so you put on top here, I'm not too sure really actually, so let me connect this first, so <clears throat> So that's the motherboard connected, and now I just need to connect the power. Obviously, when you're doing this, you want to get your computer out, turn off all the power. You don't want to leave your computer powered when you're doing this. <coughs> okay, so. And yes, there is a way to pull it in. You can just stick it any size. All right, okay, so the power's connected. The data is connected, now the only thing I need to do is find a space for it. Uh, <coughs> ideal will be to just pull it on top of the, which I will I think, on top of the other SSD drive. 
Right, that's okay. Perfect. It perfectly, and then is actually the tray I've got uh, must have been like a double tray because if it's uh, well, excellent. So, and that is pretty much it. Uh, right, uh, yeah, one more thing which I forgot to mention is once you've plugged it in, uh, it's not yet because what will happen is when you go on to your uh, computer, you won't see it, you won't be here. Uh, I've actually just added it, but there is a way uh, obviously to add it. What you need to do is go onto your style button, click style, right click on your computer and click on manage. Now, this will bring you um, <clears throat> this screen here and by going to disk management this will bring you all your drive all the drive you are uh, using and so for the you can see all the drive I'm using here uh, I've got six drives so <clears throat> now the drive which will be uh, the one that you've just plugged in the, the new SSD will normally come on Windows 7 as unallocated and it should be black and the way to allocate it is just right click and you just need to click on new hmm. well obviously it doesn't come up anymore let me see if I can undo this one here. Uh, you, yeah, you, I think you have only two options is to exit the, the, the settings or just uh, allocate the drive once you've allocated the drive and give it a letter it will then appear uh, uh, under your drive. So once you've done this, <coughs> um, you go into your computer and this will appear. So I've called it live work. So I've got my, see, this is, these are two SSD. So all my, no, all my photography software are installed onto this drive, uh, which has only 42 gig left. So I like to keep a bit of space. And then my live work, so, once I import something into Lightroom, it will kind of keep that work into this uh, drive, so much, much quicker to work with. And then the rest is for my backup, uh, working drive, uh, main backup, and all the rest. <clears throat> and once you've done this, yeah, it's uh, pretty much it. So yeah, uh, you probably spend as much time, uh, if you spend as much time as I do, behind the computer editing and working, it's quite important to have a good uh, computer as good as having a good camera. So any question, uh, let me know. Cheers. See ya.